Hello guys, this is Paul Velas from Laravel Daily and today I want to show you the danger of a few eloquent functions uh, which are really popular and convenient. Uh, I'm talking about find or fail and first or fail. It's really convenient to have uh, uh, instead of doing if exists then throw error uh, just go find or fail. So find or fail by ID 1 or by ID whatever you have in your URL and also by some condition first or fail. And it works really well when you have that directly in controller. So in show method or in edit method, uh, you just go find or fail. And if it doesn't uh, show up, then it throws 404 page, uh, page not found, which really makes sense for the user. The danger comes when you try to use those functions somewhere internally in some other class deeper than controller. And I will show you why. Uh, this is my example. So, for example, it's a pretty fictional example, but you will get the point. So, in store method, let's say we have a service that uh, takes care of storing the page. Uh, the form is pretty simple. This is the form in my demo project, form to save the page. So, there's title, there's slug, something. Slug is automatic, and then some text and you're storing the data. Instead of doing that in the controller, you have more logic and you do that in service, which is fine. And service takes care of two things. First, actually storing the page and then notifying the administrator that something came up, uh, that new page has been stored. And this is where you would use first or fail. So for example, you're you're actually searching for administrator and doing the first or fail thing. So think about it. What happens if you do first or fail inside of some service, inside of some uh, job or, I don't know, repository, whatever, where it's less visible? Actually, it's really even hard to see because people uh, read from left to right and we don't really see first or fail that obviously. Uh, so if we try to save the page now, and if that user isn't found, you get 404. And was the page stored? And why does it show 404 on storing the data? For a user, for the website visitor, it doesn't make any sense. So I'm storing the data and I'm getting the error 404, which comes from somewhere internal, from, from the code inside of the app, not even from controller and it fails here. And actually the page has been stored successfully. So if you go to the list, my record is stored successfully and the error was thrown afterwards on sending the notification. So first advice here is don't ever use first or fail or find or fail inside of uh, the service or some internal logic. But if you do, please catch the exception, because first or fail, according to the documentation, uh, it throws model not found exception. So if it, if it is not successful, you can catch the model not found and then uh, perform some other logic, show better error message and stuff like that. And if you don't do that, then 404 is thrown, 404 page. So my advice to you is be careful with those find or fail or other uh, eloquent magic methods uh, inside somewhere underneath uh, some layer of service or repository or any other design pattern if it's not obviously caught in the controller uh, el elsewhere. So the point is to have the error message clear for the user and 404 in that case is totally not clear, not relevant and not even accurate because the page has been stored successfully. I hope that advice would be useful to you and see you in the next videos of YouTube channel.